Hello and welcome. I'm Zilla, and this is my Twitch channel, where we are going to continue my playthrough of The Forgotten City video game about being in what appears to be an ancient Roman city and trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, if you're new here, feel free to, as, as my absolute icon, Khadija, would say, look around, suss out the vibe. Um, you are most welcome. And I hope you'll enjoy. Uh, if you're here, please feel free to speak up in chat. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, either way, let's uh, get rolling on this game. A brief overview for those who are joining us for the first time. Uh, first of all, this is a mystery game, so if you don't want to be spoiled and you do want to watch my playthroughs, I highly suggest that you go and play uh, play the game yourself and then come back and watch these streams on my YouTube channel, Zilla's at the name, or go back and catch up. But for now, uh, a brief summary full of spoilers of to where we are. So we have discovered that we are in, essentially, the Roman underworld, the province of Dis, land of the dead, realm of Pluto, god of the underworld. And we have another 23-ish people here with us who are from the time of 64-65 CE, uh, just after the Great Fire of Rome, and most of them seem to have perished in that fire or related causes. Um, we woke up on the River Tiber, were sent into the ruin, uh, which was in the modern day, went through a time portal, and wound up here. So we are groundhog daying our way through this mystery. We have found out that it is definitely the realm of, of the underworld, uh, ruled by a god who seems to be not only Roman Pluto, but Greek Hades, and before that, Egyptian Osiris, and the Hittite god of the underworld as well, um, and possibly more besides. <laughs> but that's as far as we got down into the Undercity. Um, there is definitely a female goddess who is trapped somewhere trying to help us out, um, and that seems to be calling us into the cisterns. Uh, she weeps where the water flows. Um, that's a dangerous path. We'd have to shoot our way in. Which we could do, but I warn you I'm not the best shot. Um, and then there's also confronting Lord Pluto, Hades, whatever himself. Uh, the temple is sealed shut, but if we get all four plaques back onto the obelisk, it may open up for us, and we can see what happens there. I don't know how either of these endings works, uh, other than what's been implied. So, we're gonna run around, I'll try to, uh, try to keep things together. A content warning, um, there is a lot of discussion of suicide here. There is even a depiction of it that sometimes occurs. I don't know if we can stop it from happening this time. Uh, we stopped it last time, but that's before we went through the wormhole. And we don't have 2,000 sisterci this time, so I don't know. So, with that being said, let's dive in. a little bit. Um, okay, I, for some reason it has our goal set as Sentius. I am not really sure why. I think that's it's a little bit of a glitch. Oh, okay, maybe that's gonna update it. Anyway, for now, I was looking for this, this guy, Galerius, our friendly cinnamon roll, who is utterly genre savvy. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing with that bow on your back? Oh, of course. We do have, in fact, two bows. <laughs> a golden bow and a wooden one. But first, first things first, Galerius is wonderfully capable, and if we tell him to go and stop a whole bunch of bad things from happening, they will indeed be stopped. So let's do that. Oh, sounds serious. I'm listening. 
Yulia? Oh no. All right, I can do that. Poor Virgil. Poor Rufius too, I guess. All right, got it. All right, let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. I'll go, but once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. A lovely conceit that the developers gave us somebody who will unquestioningly go and make it so that you don't have to do the same ten tasks every time you come in. Now, the first thing that I know I want to do is grab some more money, because one of the things that can stop the poor man from uh, jumping off the cliff is being able to pay off his contract. So, let's see, how much do I have right now? 364, and I'll need 2,000. Probably not this run. But if I'm very lucky, him paying it off from last time will somehow transfer. Oh yes, um, and for those just joining us, I think I forgot to mention that all these golden statues you see around are... They were once people just like us, but they broke the golden rule of the land. The golden rule is for the many... But for the sins of one, the many shall suffer. And what sin is seems to be a little bit strangely deterred. Okay, so. Okay, some of, some of these statues don't necessarily seem to have been people before. They look like huntresses, so you can see they're dressed kind of like you'd expect a statue of Diana or Artemis to be in a, in a short tunic and uh, pretty serious boots and archer's gloves. And in fact, they will shoot you if somebody breaks the rule. Cerberus lifts his triple head and Lord lets Livia out here his has three bold that we're the land of the dead Livia, and is in a bit of a fugue state. Would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. <sighs> they follow their trades, really imitating their previous lives, but they are people. ignorant. But I want this again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Is to talk to Galerius. <laughs> Where did he go? Well, he went off to do all of the things I told him to do. Um, let's see. Oops. strange. Here we have these lovely graffitis that are in proper Latin. Cursing out everybody. Oh, I agree. I can walk right in here because I have thank a key. You. Thank you. I am delighted and um, I wonder if we can get to have been out of this sucker. Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone in here without a hefty tribute, so you must have been desperate to see me. Well, what do you want? <sighs> I want you to withdraw from the election. Are you insane? You barge into my villa uninvited and then make outrageous demands? Why would I withdraw from an election I'm bound to win? We determined that pretending we're going to kill him out loud does, in fact, break the rule. That's what broke it last time. Don't talk nonsense. There's no such thing as the golden rule. How could you possibly know that? I wonder. Nonsense. This is nonsense. I don't know how you know about my plans. But I'm absolutely sure Sentius is involved somehow. And now, 
I'm going to enjoy watching Dimitris kill him even more. Now, get out of here. You outstayed your very limited welcome. Ah, uh, well, it was worth a shot. Let's see if I can talk Claudia into telling me anything more. <gasps> Sorry, Claudia. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be in here. Talk. What business could you possibly have with me? I want to talk the to you The dainty little thing from next door. Of course not. As much as I despise her father, I would never lay a finger on that poor sweet child. My marital affairs are no concern of yours. Thank you very much. How did I get her to talk to me before? I'm sure that I did. I remember a different line of inquiry. I think a better question is, why am I being interrogated by a stranger who just barged it into my villa? I have quite enough question. marriage trouble already, without having to explain to my husband why I'm receiving strange women in private. I think it's about to be broken if you don't hurry up threats, and threats. leave. Preferably the way you came in, by which I mean, please leave. <sighs> Finally! This is outrageous. At least she doesn't hate me this time. <sighs> One of these days I'll get her to tell me that her husband isn't really who he says he is. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Alright. What about you? Can I talk to you yet? Is it worth talking to you? I don't know. What now? Gotta love that gladiator helmet. No idea what he looks like in there. He's not here. Dunno. The little cap at murder escaped earlier this morning while I was taking Yulia to the clinic. He can't have gone far, but if you find him, tell him the punishment he gets for coming back on his own won't be as bad as if I have to go looking for him. <sighs> well, Caput Merde, if you've forgotten, is the Latin for shithead. So, not exactly the kindest of people. Um, let's see if I can ask him about something. Listen, uh... I don't abduct women. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They come yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And they keep coming back, if you know what I mean. I do think you're hiding. You don't know Sturkus. Sturkus meaning shit. Well. What if I Listen, take the other route? I don't abduct Does he women. Say something different? They come to me, and they keep coming back, if you know what I mean. Yeah, subtle. Okay, so that's it. Whatever. Dang. Just remember, I'll be watching. I mean, how can you really see much out of that helmet? That's what I want to know. Okay, so I want to find Galerius. Where has he gone? Uh, this should show me where he is. In theory. Isn't the great temple majestic? Uh, yeah, that it is. But where is Galerius? slums now. I know he goes drinking down there sometimes. Let's not stand in the fire. Oh hey, that's kind of interesting. Yes. 
Miss Whisper, you do. Uh, nope, he's not down here. Salve again, friend. I went and did as you asked, and it worked. How is it possible that you've just arrived here and you already know everyone and exactly what's about to happen to them? Well, we already know that he will accept this. Uh, you're toying with me, right? Wait, you're not kidding, are you? That's the only way you could have known. You're a bit like... so genre oh, what was his name? Sisyphus. Yeah, that's the one. Old King Sisyphus. Oh boy. <laughs> um, so just for the record, the, the concept of, of like sci-fi and fantasy is not exactly foreign to ancient cultures. I mean, it's it's one of those things that we we tend to think of these as brand new genres that only apply to us. But you know, think about. There are stories like, um, there was this, this lovely giant, uh, giant automaton built by the god Hephaestus, and, uh, he had sacred fluid running through him to keep him going, and it was kept in by a stopper in his heel, and the way he was defeated was by somebody unstopping it, and the fluid ran out and he stopped functioning. And that's, you know, that's an ancient Greek story, that, that right there, about a robot that believed he was human and ran out of lighter fluid, or lighter fluid, <laughs> ran out of, ran out of uh, electricity or, or um, motor oil or, or something like that. Like, it's, it's not that dissimilar. So it's not actually impossible for a Roman to be genre savvy, just different genre boundaries and, and markers. So, Sisyphus, of course, our uh, famous king who trapped death uh, so that he could not be taken to the underworld, um, but is now forever rolling a boulder up a hill. We can even find him. He's up near the temple, a giant golden statue. Sisyphus was a Greek king a long time ago. For daring to think he could outsmart the gods, he was given a terrible punishment. He was forced to push a great boulder up to the top of a hill. Only, just as it reached the top, it would roll all the way back down to the bottom, forcing him to start over and over and over again, for all eternity. Just like you. Actually, now that I think about it, there are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people by making them do the same futile task over and over. Tantalus was made to grasp a fruit on a tree he could never quite reach. The Pelades had to keep fetching water in a sieve. She, oh, one of and Ixion was strapped to a wheel going round and round this. forever. But, on the bright side, at least you're not stuck in the underworld like they all were. And Ixion is over uh, not too far from where we are now. Anyway, I don't know which god you managed to upset to get yourself into this position, friend, but you seem all right to me. So, I'll tell you what. I'll keep doing whatever I can to help you. You just focus on finding a way to break the cycle you're in. And, you know, you'd think, you know, you think back to these myths that he's just told us, and none of them ever really get out. There's no end to those stories. They're just punished forever. But the concept of breaking the cycle, even after death, is not unknown in Greek mythology, or Roman mythology for that matter. 
um, most notably with Prometheus. Prometheus stole fire from the gods to give to mankind, and that is the origin of all human civilization and technology. Um, and for this, Zeus punished him forever, supposedly. Chained him to a rock and had Zeus's, Zeus's eagle came to rip out his liver and eat it every day, forever. Except that Prometheus was eventually freed. So it's not actually all that unreasonable an idea to break the break the cycle. Um, <laughs> let's let's hope we're a Prometheus and not a Sisyphus, yeah? One must imagine a player of this game happy. Oh, that's kind of you to say. Now I'm going to keep your secret. Although, it's not as if I'll remember this next time we talk anyway, right? <laughs> oh, and if our conversations ever start to annoy you, just tell me you're busy. I know when I'm not wanted. May fortune smile on you, friend. Oh no, I'm not done with you. Oh no, we gotta talk. Salve again, my Sisyphean friend. Now, what's on your mind? I have your flower. Let's see uh, who you're actually going to marry. How did you know I wanted that because flower? Because I want to know. Did we talk about it in a previous time loop? Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. This is going to make her so happy. Equity, I mean. <laughs> now I just have to figure out how to give it to her. What I really want to do is walk up to her, give her the flower, and confess I've been madly in love with her since the moment we met. But on the other hand, I can't shake the feeling that the consequences could be... So, uh, what he's probably about to explain, and, and I, I have to confess to a small amount of disappointment that he's not after Virgil, our poor gay cinnamon roll architect, uh, but, but I don't know, this is cute. <laughs> but what he's probably about to talk about is Equitia's status as a Vestal Virgin. She is a member of the sacred priesthood, and if her virginity is violated, and granted, by virginity they don't necessarily mean not ever having sex, but, you know, if she got pregnant it could be dire, she could be tortured to death, she could be buried alive. Um, it's known to happen. I think I talked about this in some previous episodes when I was just talking about equity in general and Vestal priesthood. But Vestal Virgins are only forced to stay in the priesthood until they are, I believe it's 40, so we're about to we're about to hear about that, I think. You mean aside from her execution? You see, Equitia is a Vestal priestess, meaning she's taken a vow of chastity, the breaking of which would be an extremely serious affront to the gods and a capital offense. Even if she was just suspected of being unchaste, it could lead to her execution. Unchaste Vestals get buried alive. Oh, and I'd get flogged to death for good measure. But at the same time, she's just so kind and graceful, and I feel so much love for her that if I don't tell her, it'll burn a hole in my chest. I don't know what to do. What do you think? What would you do? I mean, to be truthful, I'd just fucking tell her. I'm not exactly subtle about these things. Um... So, so we have some options. I, I think you're putting the cart a little before the horse. I don't think Equitia is going to be condemned and you flogged for you confessing your love. I, I don't think that's... Hmm. Now that I hear you say that out loud, I hear how crazy it is. I think maybe I need to be a bit more cautious. What I need is a go-between. Someone who can tell her how I feel and find out how she feels without risking her life. Oh, what do you fine. say? Do you think you could help me one more time? Of course. Wonderful. Now, all I need you to do is give He's her the so flower excited. and tell her it's from a I secret love the admirer. Of this game. Tell her I'll keep my distance and that I just want her to know that she's loved. That is very sweet. Thank you. Come back as quick as you can and tell me what she says. Alright. Alright. Let's... Let's go 
find Equitinia. Who doesn't know who we are right now, by the way. So this is fun. Groundhog Day scenarios. She is. A new face. Ave, and may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? So, Equitia is also someone who is at least cautiously suspicious of the state of affairs, and we can talk to her about that. She's also officiating the election that is happening later, which is some dire consequences if it goes forward as planned. Um, but, in any case, I think... I think we'll just go ahead and go with the sweet storyline. Oh, how lovely. It just happens to be my favorite, too. Who do I have to thank for this? I see. So, ah! it's from Galerius, then. <laughs> Not much of a secret, is he? Oh, he's so cute. Of course I do. I think everyone in the city knows. That man is a wonderful human being, and my favorite person in the world. But he is the least <laughs> subtle secret admirer you could imagine. The way he looks at me with those puppy dog eyes. Plus, he's been trying for weeks to get his hands on this flower. He went to so much effort, too. Suspending that rope above the lake, he inventing that sick. pulley device all on his own. <laughs> Using he just stand bird. there each morning, looking at the flower, trying to summon the courage to seize it. Oh, my heart. <sighs> He's so cute. <laughs> Tell that adorable oaf that my Vestal's bow of chastity ends once I turn 36. So, if we ever make it out of here, and he doesn't mind waiting a few years, then... Tell him I love him too. So, so it's 36. I it was off by a few years. It was in the ballpark. It was in the ballpark. Anyway, like, like certainly not like the end of your life or anything. Um, I mean, love can feel very overwhelming, um, and and can be hard to wait for years. But he's already waited this long for the knowledge that they both want something. Seems plausible to me. I hope so. See you again soon, I hope. Okay, Galerius, let's let's uh, see what he says to this wonderful sappy nonsense. Gosh, I love a romance subplot. It's it's so random in this game. But people are just just people, you know? Like it's not it's not like they're any different from we are. Salve again, my Sisyphean friend. Now, what's on your mind? Thanks. What did she say? Venus, that is the best news I've ever heard <laughs> in my life. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You have no idea how happy you've made me. Oh, I wish there was so something cute. I could do to... Thank you properly, but I don't have much to offer you. All I can do is tell you where there's a secret stash of coins you might be interested in. In the rock tunnel near the stairs, there's a little doorway set into the rock. Inside, if you look carefully, you can see a chest. Unfortunately, one of those golden huntress statues is blocking the path, and I'm not game to move it. If you can figure out how to get past it, I reckon there might be a small fortune waiting for you. I hope that helps in some way. All right, I guess right, he then. was going to tell us hope about that. Hope you find a way little, to uh, break that cycle you're in. Room we just saw with the huntress statue. So I wonder if we can move that. I mean, usually, Ooh. goose, goose, <laughs> honk. Gosh, she will guide you, goose.
these flowers, which look suspiciously similar to the flower that was hard to get. Um, anyway. What was that little room? I can just move these statues aside, but this one just does not want to move. Oh. Now, that's actually kind of interesting. like those Greek catacombs that we found earlier. There's gotta be a way inside, right? Huh. Maybe I should explore these, these tunnels. Can I get up here? if I'm supposed to be able to get up to this or not. It's a little bit... a little bit difficult to tell where you're supposed to be able to go here. I don't see an up from here. I thought for a moment I saw a down. Tell me you've spent too much time playing Breath of the Wild without telling me you've spent too much time playing Breath of the Wild. <laughs> okay. Well, I you, know that there Tantus, is an entrance the to the tunnels back here. And the tree you the gods be better than they were to us. So, pretty good translation. May the gods be kinder to you than they were to us. It doesn't actually say stranger, but oh yes, we, we continue to have these statues creepily look at us whenever we pass by. It looks like this place is totally ruined. We're not going to get much out of that. I'm going 
left as much as I can. <laughs> the old knees runner's trick. I don't know what's back here. neat. Um, so wine is super important in both Greece and Rome. Uh, huh. That's interesting. That's, that's an unusual posture. Um, I'm getting tired of not being able to see. Let's shine a light on this situation. Were they trying to fight back? Interesting. Um, so, there's a way that way. But, um, wine, alcohol in general, is the only way to be sure that you have a sanitary drink. Um, because fresh water, unless it's running where very swift, this is interesting. almost looks like a pirate ship. It's kind of hard to tell. It looks, it looks like a skull flag. <laughs> uh, not that that couldn't have happened, but I, I don't... It's certainly not a common symbol in the Roman times. Uh, maybe it's just memento mori, or remembering how they died, or... I mean, that boat honestly looks more like Diogenes' wash tub. Uh, oh no, I see. It's a, it's, a, it's a face with a beard. Could be somebody recounting how they got here. There's a liar. Some kind of laurel. Okay, well, now, now I, I have several things to talk about. Okay, so I'm going to stop for a second, just pause. So, wine is the main alcohol of ancient Greece and Rome. Oh, whether good or bad wine, you know, they have big range. Uh, beer you find more in Egypt and and sometimes out into the grass, the, the grain lands, the fertile crescent of uh, the Near East. But really wine was the major drink that everybody drank. And they drank it very well watered. But, you know, since unless the water you, you pick up is very, very pure, fast-flowing stream, uncontaminated by human habitation and, and well, waste, um, you have a good chance of getting sick from it. So everybody drinks wine from the time they're very small, uh, just watered very thinly. And so somebody who, in Greece at least, somebody who drinks unwatered wine is a barbarian. <laughs> like, because who does that? That's just such, a, such an unruly being. Um, okay, to come back to this, um, so laurels, a symbol in Greece uh, of the god Apollo, uh, the, <laughs> the origin story for why the laurel is a symbol of Apollo is a bit, well, rapey, um, it's, it's hard to put that any other way. If you've ever heard the story of Daphne. Daphne, who, whose name still is given to the laurel tree um, in Greek. Um, Daphne was a river nymph. Her father was a river god. And uh, Apollo one day was struck by an uncontrollable lust for her and started chasing after her. And she was terrified and ran from him, praying to her father to help her escape as she went. And her father granted her wish by turning her into a tree. And Apollo, guy that he is, <laughs> not that guys are like this, but just um, not using any of the words that I'm thinking right now. Um, 
Apollo accepted his his rejection that she hated him so much that she turned into a tree rather than be raped by him decides to take the laurel leaves as his symbol and his crown um, and they are forever after used as a symbol of triumph um, victory and you're given laurels when you win something. Even today. Even today, laurels are, are considered a, a symbol of victory, if only in the saying, resting on your laurels, right? Resting on past victories. Um, but you'll also see them frequently, I mean, they're a very common symbol of graduation or of awards. Um, I believe they're on the Nobel Prize. Um, if you see SPQR, the Romans took it up. Um, so to have some laurels here next to a liar suggests that whoever was was etching this uh, into their walls uh, was some kind of poet, uh, because the lyre was an instrument of poetry. Uh, most poetry was sung, not spoken or written primarily. So you would accompany your poetry with a lyre. So we've got an award-winning, a laurel with a lyre, and then, huh, errant ex sanguinis sine corpore et osibus umbrae. Well, we have a quote that, uh, a quote from Ovid that um, Livia was saying, actually. The, uh, <clears throat> the shades wander, the bloodless and the bloodless shades wander without body or bones. Yeah. So, um, so quote here, uh, kind of a strange handwriting since their uh, Roman E looks oddly like a Greek Sigma. That's not usual. Uh, we have this picture of the man in the rowboat again. Wow, that's fascinating. Oh, and, and a written something or other. A note from, from Livia. Oh, this is Livia's house down in the tunnels. Okay, no wonder. So Livia again quoting and quoting us those same four stories that uh, Galerius told us and that we've seen in encased in, in gold around the region. Alright. So Livia's palette. Gosh, why does she live down here? Oh, that's sort of heartbreaking. Have I lost my way? I might have. Did I stop turning left before I went off in that ramble? Oh! We have a punch! We have somebody in Roman armor punching somebody who actually appears to be wearing an Egyptian style um, kirtle. I think they're called Sauraps, but I really should have looked that up. And and you know, that tracks uh, tracks very nicely with that writing that we had that we found in the. Um... Yes, yes, I know he does. Uh, that that writing that we had found in the amphitheater, which is not very far from here. Yes, you're turning to look at me. That is creepy. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I saw you. I saw you do that. Yipes. Um, so... Huh. Some vines. That's not the gold bow. That's the gold bow. And 
this lets us into the Christian shrine. We actually had a, um, we had gotten a key into here, but we don't even need it because we can just go in ourselves. Um, you will have to excuse me because surprisingly for me, uh, it looks like my computer's battery is about to run out, so I'm going to fix that. Just a moment. Okay, much better. Sorry about that. <laughs> Never had that happen before when I was running, so... Um... Where was I? Ah yes, the uh... Thank you, DJ Trindlebot. The symbol for victory points in board games is often laurels. Yes, this is very common iconography. So, Pluto dis pater, the Roman name for the god of the underworld. Pluto, father of riches. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, Pluto, lord of the underworld is probably a better translation. Um, but pater, certainly literally father, and dis is sort of the idea of plenty. Um, there's this idea in both Greek and Roman myth that the underworld is a rich and wealthy place of plenty because all souls will eventually end up there. Okay. Wooden carving. A fish with the Greek ichthus, um, which is fish. It's, it's just straight up that. Um, but with this iconography in the location that we're in, 
certainly religious in nature, referring to Jesus and the miracle of the fishes, um, which is past my interest, past my time. And we have some simple Roman jugware. We have a Roman mosaic. We have one of these uh, bas-relief plaques in a little shrine set up, but carved over with the fish. Um, at this time, I think the the fish was a, a more common um, icon for Jesus than the cross, because the cross was just a normal Roman tool of execution for criminals of a certain type. So the cross wouldn't have been anything particularly significant. Not much else to this place from the, from the look of it. Nice little grotto for worshippers. But we can just unlock this door and keep on. Second wooden carving, same as the first. Now it's dark again. No, I don't want the bow. Flashlight, yes. Statuary friend. like the way to the amphitheater. Oh, no. Not even. Just the way... Oh yes, here it is, the amphitheater. So I'm not particularly interested in the amphitheater right now. Still looking for a way into that room. Skeleton, someone who died. Oh, yeah, here's Ixion, bound to his wheel. Not concerning at all. Um, yeah, still looking for a way into that room. I don't know how we can get in there. If we're not allowed to move the statue. went a little bit haywire, but okay, so I've been here before, I think. More of these huntress statues in the back of the slums. Oops. Keep forgetting that. Isn't the button I want. Oops. Theophilius sexus coitus cum quator puellae fecit et omnium aeque frustravit. <laughs> okay. So here we have graffiti left over some, from some previous inhabitant who is not here now. Uh, here, Theophilius uh, had sex with a uh, four girls and disappointed them all equally. Let's see what they translate it as. Yeah. Yes. I wonder whose room that is currently. Domitius' room. Well, okay. Domitius likes gaming. Oh, I guess I have to respect him at least a little now. a very 
pretty shield. Let's see if we can zoom in on it a bit. With a, uh, looks like a, a design of a flower. I wonder if it's a regional design. And then these um, sort of chicken feet around the edges. I don't know what that's about. prove where's my flashlight is that the end of the tunnels I guess that must have been feels like we're going back so I'm not sure how to get that statue to move Sorry, there's not as much ancient commentary as I'm trying to figure out some platforming. Woohoo! Didn't know there was platforming in this game. Oh! Oh well. No, no, now I want the golden bell. <laughs> Let's see. up here. If I can get to it. There we go. I will take the money and the arrows and another bottle of wine. Oh, wait a second. Did I just see a design on that bottle? Show me the wine. Oh! I didn't, I didn't notice these the first time. Now this to me looks... You know, I, I wish I wish I knew what artifact this was based on, but you see the laurels again. Um, those do not look like grape vines. And these robed figures, this... I wonder if this bottle is terracotta? Um, there's a whole... A terracotta empire, basically, uh, a production out of the Hellenistic period, so like the, the 200s, um, where they have these beautiful terracotta figurines and very cheap mass-produced figurines at that. Um, but something about the way that this is glazed actually reminds me more of Roman glasswork which is much more rare, but not super rare either. Like, they did have some, some pretty serious glass production. It's not all that common that we find on broken ones, of course. Um, but this is definitely not a glass bottle. I mean, you can look at, well, for one thing, the bottom shows you that this is painted, um, but the, the lines around the edges look like the lines you make on a potting wheel. So, wine, possibly of Greek origin. This still wasn't the room. I mean, it's good, it's a start, but it still wasn't the place I thought I was going. It's all up to me, is it? like to get into that room, and I don't know how to do it. Can I... Is this the side of the room? There's an old statue up there. It's not quite letting me stand here. You 
usually when they let you climb over something, there are vines or something. Like you saw those, uh, that lichen that I stood on. want to have to wait until the rule is broken to get in this room. Ah, oh, but I'm not sure how else to move her. Why won't you let me move this statue? Eventually we're gonna run out of time for this, but... Um... Oh, where am I? The priest hall... this locked. It's kind of odd. But anyway, I could get back up here. There's gotta be a way in there. There just has to be. Well. 
Okay. Alright, I'm going to stop futzing around. <laughs> and, uh... I'm gonna go and see if I can... Oh, I've gotten myself turned around. Where's the out? strange. Well, I managed to hurt myself falling. There is falling damage in this game. You can die in this game. It's, uh, it's definitely interesting. Way back into the slums. That's an out. Okay, put away that. The 49 melodies fetch a yes. that money. Oh, I'm actually doing a lot better than I thought. But, uh, still not at 2,000. If only I could get in that darn room. Hello, Sisyphus. Pushing that boulder good. I actually don't know what's over here. I said I was gonna stop futzing about. You can't trust me, can you? Look at this gorgeous environment, though. These odd little pathways. Oh! 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 What's this? What is this? Locked door. Lion animals and. Looks like it goes into the temple, so I guess it's not a surprise that it's locked. Mariola said, non punitus. Wow. I urinated into Maliolas' villa from above and got away with it. That could have been anyone. <laughs> Everybody hates him. Oh, hi, Octavia. Salve, friend. I'm Octavia. Welcome to life under the golden rule. I stole your stolen not. plaque. How are you faring so far? That's good, in a sense. If you're not on edge, you've not been paying attention. But on the bright side, once you've been here a few months, it's... Well, it's slightly less terrifying anyway. We've all been where you are now. I remember when I first arrived. I used to lay awake at night contemplating the big questions. Why am I here? Is there a way out? What is the Golden Rule, and who or what is responsible for it? I still don't have any of the answers, I'm afraid. I don't think anybody does. 
but I'm happy to share with you what I've learned. I need to talk to Elpius. I'm a little surprised that I don't have that option anymore. Alright, well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh no! Animation oh. No, 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 no. Makes this moment a little Orpheus, bit less dramatic. What are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your go. balance, we'll you'll fall. You That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life working for a man who treats me like an animal. I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Alpheus. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Please, Alpheus. Help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. I don't know why she has faith in me, but I don't know if I can talk him down without... Thank you. Without 2000 And please, denarii. choose your words carefully. You know about that? How is that possible? I mean, I've never mentioned it to anyone. Well, if you say so. You don't understand. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want it all to be over. It's too late for that. Yulia and I made a pact. And she's already swallowed Hemlock this morning. If I backed out now, I'd be betraying her. I can't do that. Oh, really? That changes things a little. But we're still in debt bondage to that monster. Unless you happen to have 2,000 denarii to pay off both of our debts. Yulia and I are in debt bondage to Maliolus. We might as well be slaves. And that's how much it will take to buy our freedom back. So, do you have the money or not? <sighs> I am sorry. I don't have the money this time. I will next time through. No. Maybe I can get him no. his papers from him before restarting the loop next Hands time. Up. That's I a bit on me. Wherever you are, Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Olpius, no! Voice acting in this game is good. I, the the character animations that that's a much harder. I, oh lord! No shade on the developers; they picked some sensitive topics. I'll have to let everyone know what happened, and I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Alpheus. Well, drat. It did give me an idea, though. Um, I wonder... I mean, this is... This is a terrible idea, but it works. Um... <laughs> oh, thank God. you. Thank That's you. A, I am... It's a sight. I and, um, deeply honored to have been elected your magistrate. Magistrate. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give me an idea. I wonder if I can talk to Delicious again. So I have this thought that skeleton there might be Scintilla. And if Demicious had her kidnapped and put in there, or if Demicious did Couldn't stay her, away, huh, lovely? Listen, I don't abduct women. They come to me. And they keep coming back. If you know what I mean. You don't know Sturkus. Don't I, though? Whatever. Just remember, I'll be watching. Well, 
sorry that this run got a little bit led astray, but we have a new mystery to solve, and I will be keen on solving it. I hope that you're as excited about that as I am. I am gonna do one last look at this artifact on top of this arch, which I don't think I've ever examined this freeze before. And then I think we're gonna call it for the day. So let's see, what can we see here? Unfortunately, we can't get close to it. There's definitely a Roman-style frieze. Um, you can see some of them have Roman-style clothing on. It looks looks kind of like a market scene more than anything else. It's just so busy. There's a, a dog over, over on the uh, left side. Multiple people paying attention to him. There's a basket in the center. And somebody carrying it along, maybe moving their wares. Um, this next to it looks almost like a soldier, but it's kind of hard to tell from this angle. Certainly this person upright here looks an awful lot like a flattened version of the, uh, the famous statue of Augustus, the Augustus Porta Prima, you know, the one with his hand raised like that. Um, and then, is that a woman rushing to the side? It's kind of unclear. It's a very pretty piece. Um, the, the size and shape of it honestly make me think more... Uh, you know, I wonder if this is the kind of thing you would find over the entrance to the market, especially since that way lies the forum of the town. So I wonder if there's something like it in Pompeii, where we have a really well-preserved forum area with some archways like this leading into it. And uh, thanks for coming on this ride with me. I think that's where we're going to stop for the day. And hopefully next time we'll figure out how to get into that room and what that skeleton is doing there. Alright. Keep learning, friends.